My name is Chuck Richardson, this is Tournament Cable, and what we're going to be talking about now is striper, striper fishing, specifically trolling for stripers with umbrella rigs. We've come up with a new, innovative umbrella rig like nothing you've ever seen before. This is the first major change in umbrella rigs to come along in a long time for uh, striper fishing, um, and let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, this is a pretty much a standard fixed umbrella rig for stripers for trolling has been around for years. We have a lead center hub where all the arms are molded right into that hub. Normally all of your baits and so forth on the teaser arms, they all have hooks in them. Um, this one here would have, it might have 12 different hooks in it. There would be a rigged bait right down the middle with additional hooks in it. Okay, this is your standard umbrella rig. Now, the difference that we have and what we came up with is an entirely new design for the umbrella rig itself. All right, now let me show you that, what we did. We took a standard umbrella rig and adapted our knowledge, expertise, and whatnot in dredges and designed a two-way reversible umbrella rig strictly for stripers, okay? Now, what this is, and the major difference with this particular umbrella rig, as I said in the, in the original opening about the standard umbrella rig that has been around for years, all of the arms are fixed, okay? As you can see, the arms on this are free swing. So, they're going to give your baits more action. It's going to look like a more natural ball of bait, okay, ahead of your rigged bait. The other thing that we've done, rather than have a bunch of rubber baits here, we have our 3D stick baits, okay, which are eighth inch thick. They come in four different colors. You'll notice that there's no hooks in these. I mean, we're trying to take striker fishing to the next level, a more sporting level. Um, if you want to catch three or four fish on one umbrella rig at the same time, uh, we can't help you out. You're going to have to go with the old one with a gazillion hooks in it and whatnot. If you want to take striper fishing to the next level and catch one striper, um, this is what you would want. Okay? Because what you would do here, as I said, none of these have hooks in them. The center line coming down the middle off of this 700 pound swivel, which is overbuilt, um, coming out of this hub, that's a 175 pound test cable going to a 70 pound American Fishing Wire Stainless Snap. Onto that, you would put a rigged stretch 25, a stretch 30, or something like that, a lift plug, a Rapala, a bomber, or whatever, and just connect it on about an 18 to 24 inch leader. This particular lift type plug is enough at two knots, two and a half, three knots, to get this down below uh, the surface where you want it. Um, it's going to run pretty deep depending upon what size of a plug you put on the back of it. If you want more weight, you, uh, more depth, I should say, you're going to have to add a trolling weight to it. Okay? But as you can see, this is, these are the only hooks in the entire wreck. Okay? Now what this means is when you catch a fish and hook up, when you get that fish boat side, you're not going to have the umbrella rig coming up with a gazillion hooks on it to stick you. Okay? It's a heck of a lot safer um, and it's more sporting. Now, the big advantage to this particular two-way umbrella rig is the fact that on a standard umbrella rig right, that you have out there today, you're going through the water like this. When you hook up and get that initial runoff, Okay, that umbrella rig is going to go through the water and be dragged through the water by that fish backwards. Creates a lot of drag, a lot of pull uh, on that hook, on that fish, on the angler, and on the rod and reel. Our design with our two-way rig, on a hookup and an initial runoff, okay, what happens is, as I said, the arms are free swinging. Well, on that runoff, these arms will actually reverse and go through the water in the opposite direction. All right? This creates a lot less drag on the fish, the angler, the line, 
It also creates less of a possibility of any uh, snags and whatnot on the bottom when that fish takes off. Um, it just completely reverses. All right. Now, when you start to retrieve line and your runoff is over, this thing just goes right back to its original um, uh, fashion, and you can just pull it, you know, and start retrieving the line, retrieving the fish, the whole bit. Right. That is one of the major, major advantages to this rig, as opposed to the standard umbrella rig. The other feature of this particular rig is the fact that when you're done for the day and you want to store this rig, it'll lay flat just like that, okay? Rather than having to contend with this type of an arrangement right here, what do you do with it? Um, some guys will take them and they crunch them up like that, put them back in tubes, they put them in buckets and that type of thing. This thing here, our dredge will just lay completely flat. Now, let me just one, say one word about the 3D stick baits that we're using on this particular rig. 3D stick baits, as I said, they're made out of eight inch plexiglass, okay? They have the reflective tape on one side, they have 3D eyeballs in them, they come in four different colors. The big advantage to these over rubber baits is the fact that bluefish, which just plays havoc with any type of a rubber bait, bites them right in half. You're going to spend all day long uh, replacing baits on them and whatnot. With these, the bluefish can hang on them, they'll grab them, they'll scratch them, they'll pull them and whatnot. They can't hurt them. Um, it's a great, great concept and so forth. These 3D stick baits, they work and they work great. Um, that's pretty much it with our new bi-directional, two-way, bi-way, whatever you want to call it. This is an umbrella rig for stripers like no other. That's it.